Hello everybody, greetings from Miami, Florida. In this video I would like to compare two modern state-of-the-art tenor mouthpieces, the Jody Jazz DV Platinum 20th Anniversary and the Tijuana Durga Model 3. I don't endorse any of these mouthpieces, neither I'm getting paid to promote any of them. I'm not a mouthpiece expert, I'm just another saxophone player. For this video I'm using a Lavaz Medium Reed and my Mark VI tenor sax. According to the Jody Jazz website, this mouthpiece was made to celebrate the 20th anniversary of Jody Espina's company. Production was strictly limited to 100 units. The one I'm using for this video is number 20 out of 100, which is pretty cool. The main difference between this model and their iconic regular DV is the platinum plating finish versus the gold plated. Also, the bite plate in this mouthpiece is a special emerald green instead of the traditional black plate. This version has the same secondary window design as the DV. In terms of size, it's only available on 7 start, which equals to an opening of 0.108. The regular DV comes with a Rico ligature, while the platinum version includes a Rotner platinum ligature, which is pretty nice. The mouthpiece comes in a nice leather pouch and a bamboo canister, as well as a certificate of authenticity signed by Jody Espina. Let's check out how the Jody Jazz DV Platinum sounds. <laughs> So time to look into the Tijuana Durga 3. Like the DV Platinum, each mouthpiece comes with a serial number. This one is number 19A number 8. This could be a serial number along with a batch number, but I'm not sure. The opening on this Durga 3 is uh, 8, which equals to um, 0.105 in regards to the opening. According to the Tijuana website, the Durga produces a powerful and fat sound as well as a unique design baffle and deep rounded inner sides wall with a large chamber. This mouthpiece, as you can see, has a built-in ligature with a two-point contact system that can be moved back and forth with an including hex driver in order to adjust the tone. In the Tijuana website, there are some ligature pressure plates available in different materials that are supposed to affect the sound. I haven't tried those yet. It also comes with a very cool reed replacer cap to protect the mouthpiece. I'm not sure if there's a cap available for this mouthpiece yet. The design, the reticulated gold, and the black highlights make this a beautiful piece of work. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
So I'm not going to tell you that one mouthpiece is better than the other. What works for me doesn't mean it works for everybody else. The mouthpiece is a very personal element in your setup, and it's affected by many elements such as the reed, the horn, and a lot of factors. But mostly the sound concept that you have in your head has to do a lot with what type of sound you produce. To me, both mouthpieces are great. They're designed and manufactured by mouthpiece icons, Tio Wani and Jody Espina using the latest technologies and decades of research. Both mouthpieces are very free-blowing and comfortable. They both produce a nice tone and can be pushed to the limits and make them scream as well. The Durga seems to require a harder read than what I normally use. I've been playing the same mouthpiece for 20 years, so it's hard just to try this metal mouthpiece out of nowhere and just have complete control over it. Again, I'm not a mouthpiece expert, so feel free to leave any comments, any suggestions. Thank you, guys.